starting here with an atomic structure question. More specifically, this is about electron configuration, but within ions. It's a place that people can often make fairly straightforward and careless errors. So if we take a look first of all at chlorine, you'll notice here that what I've done is written out the electron configuration for chlorine itself. We don't want that, we want a chloride ion, it's gained one electron. So we're actually aiming for the 3p6 at the end there. When we do Fe2+, plus, you'll again notice I've done this for the Fe atom to begin with. There's a particular rule that you have to remember when you're doing the electron configuration of certainly transition metal ions. And that is that you empty the 4s sublevel before you empty the 3d sublevel. And so we're left with this. Now, the 4s0 is not necessary. I tend to put it in because it reminds me of the systematic route through questions of this type. And then we're asked to write an equation, including state symbols, to represent the process representing the third ionization energy of manganese. Now, again, you want to avoid the most common error here, which would be to go from Mn all the way to Mn plus 3. Remember, first ionization enthalpy or energy goes from Mn to Mn plus, second goes from plus to 2 plus, so the third is from plus 2 to plus 3. And in doing that, it's lost an electron, so we have the plus E minus on the right hand side. But we've still not got the mark yet, because ionization energy is about the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous atoms or ions loses a mole of electrons to form a mole of gaseous ions. In this case, the ions are plus two and plus three. You would have to have those state symbols there to be credited with the mark. Moving on to the ionization energy um, trend, and we want to know which out of magnesium and aluminium has the lower first ionization energy. Three marks here. Now you won't get the mark for writing out these electron configurations, but I would always recommend that you do, because this allows you to see what the significant difference is between the two of them. Now what we can see here is that the aluminium's outer electron is being removed from a 3p sublevel, whereas magnesium's is being removed from 3s. So from this, we can then recognize that aluminium's outer electron is being removed from a higher energy sublevel. Therefore, less energy needs to be applied for it to be removed, and the aluminium, therefore, has the lower first ionization enthalpy. Moving on to 1.4, and we have got here some mass spectrometry um, calculations. First part of this, give the symbol including the mass number of the iron that would reach the detector first in the sample. Well, it's not really a surprise that it's going to be nickel. These are all isotopes of nickel. You don't want to forget that this is an iron, and generally speaking, the charges on an iron in mass spectrometry will be plus one. But then we've got a one in three chance of picking the right one. What's fundamental to this is remembering that in the acceleration stage, they are all accelerated to have the same kinetic energy. Now that means that the smaller isotopes, the smaller ions, with that same kinetic energy will move faster. So they will get there first. And it's for that reason that we can say Ni plus 58. Moving on to the actual calculation here, um, and this is a relatively straightforward example of this type of question. What is the relative atomic mass of nickel based on this abundance of these three isotopes? So you will do the calculation as you can see here. It's 58 times 61 over 100 because it's 61% is the MZ58, 60 times 29.1 over 100, plus 61 times 9.9 .9 over 100. Now, again, you can do all of the hard work, but there is a really simple error that can be made here, and that's not reading the question fully, because the answer is 58.9 to one decimal place, and that is what the question is insisting on.